The important part of these raids is to understand your enemy. You want to figure out what attack that the raid Pokemon uses and what their weaknesses are in terms of the terror type. So in Cerebi has a list of the Pokemon that appear in raids and as well as the drops and what moves they have. So I'll put that in the description down below. Uh, but we'll start off with what everyone talks about pretty much for raids. And that is Iron Hands. So Hariyama is the Fighting Electric. I give it Electric Terra. You can give Fighting Terra, which is probably better because you can use Drain Punch. But most of the time when I need to use like a Fighting Pokemon, and sometimes Electric, I will use Iron Hands. And it has the same strat, Belly Drum and Drain Punch, right? So that is the, pretty much the strat. You Belly Drum first turn and then you Drain Punch and you heal it back. You just keep doing that and it does quite a bit of damage because Belly Drum makes your attack stat all the way to plus six. So, and then, but you lose half your HP and then you just drain punch it, you get it all back. Uh, so I do want to give a shout out, which is kind of to Hariyama, which is kind of in the same category what I placed it. The only thing is that it has less bulk. So Iron Hands is actually more physically bulky and, um, and then the lacking of special defense, but still pretty bulky, right? This one, Hariyama, just less bulky in general, but still bulky, okay? But it does have this ability called Guts. Guts is great because when you have a status condition, it would give you attack boost instead of a decrease in, like in burn, for example. So what I've been doing is you, you want to use Flame Orb and Guts, so then you actually become immune to status conditions. Because then if they actually, well, status condition, they actually put like a status on you, not like confusion or anything, but you can't fall asleep. So Yawn, for example, that does not affect you. Right, so you just be overwritten by burn, and then that burn doesn't actually lower your attack because of guts, it will increase it instead. So, the, the same thing here, you just need Belly Drum or Drain Punch. Um, the other two kind of optional, what you want to do. Same thing for this. Um, you do want Thunder Punch though. Uh, some people run Wild Charge, but in Rage, you don't want to do recoil to yourself because it's based on, I think, percentage or something, which is kind of troublesome because then you, on raids, you want to actually depend on being alive, right? And the last one, you can run like Earthquake, Heavy Slam, whatever coverage move you want to do, okay? So this build, I'm using Booster Energy here, which will increase its attack stat even more. So that's why it's also kind of better. Um, but the trade-off is that you can be hit with status moves, and Hariyama has the benefit of not being hit by those status moves. So you do want to add in on both of these, and I'm running all HP and all attack for EVs. Uh, the last the last four points, you can do whatever you want with it. You can put in like defense, mostly likely. <laughs> so that is um, what I I put for the mods. I use most of the time, most of the time, not majority, but most of the time, you can just throw in Iron Hands and it should be okay. But it's not like the all all be all. I would say maybe like, Half the battle is getting Iron Hands, and the other one, there's better Pokemon to use instead of Iron Hands. All right, so the next raid Pokemon I do want to talk about is the Boss Lunger. I don't use them as much anymore because I do have Coridon. Uh, let me actually put this out so I can actually talk about it here. So we do have Coridon, which is Fighting Dragon, right? And then we have Maridon. So this one, I'm running Life Orb. And obviously, I'm running Adamant again, which gives you increased attack and special attack down. And Maridon is the special attacker, so you do the opposite. I'm running Modest, special attack up and attack down, right? So this one, HP, EVs, and special attack EVs. This one, HP, EV, and attack EVs. So a lot of these are just going to be HP, EV, and then the second one is going to be whatever they're good at, special attacker or regular attack. So I don't have to go over all of them, okay? They're all mostly, they're the same. I'll mention it if they're different, okay? So I am using Metronome because most of the time I just metal sound with Maridon for a while. And, and, and of course, if I can't hit them with the saddest move, I'll charge. And I just spam Electric Drift. So, uh, I have parodic, Parabotic Charge just to like get the life back, but most of the time I don't need that. use that. Um, Coridon, I have the Screech, but most of the time I use Swords Dance. And then depending on... Um, fighting or dragon, I use either or. Outrage is not really that good, but I don't use it that often, to be honest. <laughs> and I have a dragon Terra just because I was too lazy to change it. So don't mind that. Fighting is probably better. Um, but most of the time, I don't use Coridon. If I can use Coridon, I'll just use Iron Hands. <laughs> like, okay, so dragon is good against dragon, right? Um, I don't know what else is actually good 
for it's I think it's mostly good for resistance wise more than anything. So most of the time if I'm fighting a dragon, I would just use fairy type instead of a dragon. So that's why I don't use these I don't use Karana too much, because if I can use dra fight a dragon, I'll use fairy. And if I need to fight fighting, I'll just use Iron Hands or Hariyama. But I just want to throw it out there because he does have resistances. So in case like like it has ground moves, I would just switch to Koridon or even Nihilate. But we'll go over Nihilate later because I think Nihilate is very underrated. And I think he's very good. But let's talk about back to the Maridons here and Koridon. So for Maridon, it's kind of the, the same thing if I want like a stronger electric. Like let's say the Pokemon is physically bulky, then I would use Maridon instead. Or if I want to have maybe resistances as well as doing damage, or, you know, I'm bored of Iron Hand, I'll still use Maridon, okay? So that is what I am usually use them for. Other than that, um, I don't use the box energy too much. So let's go with Annihilate. I actually build a bunch of Annihilates. Annihilate is actually good competitively as well, but for Rage, he's also very good because he has this ability called Vital Spirit, which you can't fall asleep. A lot of the Pokemon, the Ray Pokemon, they actually use Yawn and stuff like that. And that's annoying, right? Yawn, Spore, you can just annihilate. You just, just tank through everything. Um, annihilate is good over time. So in the beginning, you just want to like bulk up and stuff like that. Even when you're fighting like an Umbreon, right? If you use bulk up, the Foul Play technically just does the same damage. And then you can just Drain Punch it to get some HP back while you're building up your Rage Fist as it's hitting you. Um, so that is technically my build, and I run Punching Glove on both of them because I'm using Drain Punch and Rage Fist. Rage Fist is a count of the punching move, okay? So, um, the last one you can either use Screech or a Taunt, right? Um, I have kind of either both, and then this is the Fighting Terror, and I have a Ghost Terror. A lot of the time, I like to use this, uh, fighting a lot of Ghost Terrors, if they're not Ghosts themselves, because otherwise I'll get hit hard. So, um, so that's... That's what I would say. Annihilate is very bulky, right? A lot of HP. So that's why I would consider him very underrated. Because in raids, you want to be super bulky. Uh, yeah, if you check out my raid log, I use the Annihilate a lot. It's very fun to use. And then you don't even need the Terra. Like, I'm fighting... I don't know. I just fight something that's, like, strong... Let's say Ghost Terra, right? But I don't... I could just use this because it has Vital Spirit. I don't want Doesn't. It has Defiant. It's good against Gyarados. Um, even though Hurricane is a flying move, but Gyarados is a physical attacker, not a special attacker, and Hurricane is a special attack. Anyways, go back to this. Annihilate is, is you just taking all the hits, and then eventually Rage Fist will get up to like 350 is max. So every time you get hit, you get your Rage Fist that's 50. Let's go in here actually, look at the moves. So Rage Fist, right, it starts at 50, but every time you get hit, it gets stronger. So um, you just keep bulking up, and then just keep soaking up the damage, and then you Drain Punch to heal it back. And then you just Rage Fist later. Even even if they have shields, you do a decent chunk of damage. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's why I think it's good. And he's bulky, and it, you can have immune to sleep a lot, because a lot of Pokemon use sleep. Okay? So I have these here, just in case. And if they have Intimidate, use this one. Um, or if I just want to just blast through them with Ghost Terra, right? If they don't have Yawning, and then also Ghost Terra, I can hit them with this. All right, now we have for if I need like a fire Terra, right? Most of the time I use a lot of fire. There's these guys here, right? I use these three. Mostly I use Armor Rouge and Saruna. Sometimes I'll use this the fire starter, but I don't think it's as good as Armor Rouge because of the flash fire, right? So, um, and, and it has Calm Mind. <laughs> I don't think this one has Calm Mind, unfortunately. But, okay, so Armor Rouge, you just, depending if, like, let's say you want a special attacker, you use Armor Rouge. If you want a physical attacker, you use Cerulean Edge, right? So, uh, let's say I'm fighting Umbreon or something, and then, of course, I have Foul Play or something like that. I can use Armor Rouge, like, you can steal Umbreon or something. You can use Armor Rouge. Because um, then Foul Play won't do anything to you, but, though it still does super effective hits. If you can hit him enough, you can just terror terrestrialize the fire, right? But you, you just calm mine, it so it doesn't actually affect you too much. Um, or let's just say uh, Serune Edge here. If this, if they're like, you can check in Serebii, right? I will go to Serebii, check the Pokemon that you're fighting, right, and check their stat spread. So you can decide which one you want to do. I use Life Orb on this because 
a Blitter Blade actually does life leech. So every time you hit, you get life back. So um, I'm technically just always doing that. So I will Swords Dance and I'll do Blitter Blade. Right. Um, this one, I'm using Flamethrower, Calm Mind, Psychic, will o -Wisp. will o -Wisp is just nice just because um, for Flash Fire, I think both of these have Flash Fire, yeah. So Flash Fire, if you use will o -Wisp, it actually increases, it activates the ability. So be warned of that. So it's extra buff. Um, but most of the time, I'm using Flamethrower instead of Armor Cannon because Armor Cannon technically close combat. Reason why I don't like close combat and ar Armor Cannon because your defenses will go down every time you do it. And in a raid, you don't want to be like so squishy, right? It's all about the endurance instead of the sprint. So if you can, st as long as you stay alive, it's very good because you still have DPS. Okay. So so that's why I don't, I'd rather not use close combat or armor cannon. Sure, you can't use it, but I, I think this is better. And you have more usages. So, all right. So next, um, a lot of times, we're gonna use electric, right? And electric has only one weakness, ground. So I have a few mons here which I use for ground, right? I use Garchomp and Ting Lu. If I need to be super tanky, I use Ting Lu and I just earthquake, right? Just earthquake. It doesn't have any buff moves, unfortunately, so I just keep earthquaking with metronome because I'm just earthquaking, nothing else. I get top first turn and then earthquake. If there, if I don't need to be as bulky, I use Garchomp, and then I just earthquake with this Swords Dance into earthquake. And obviously had rough skin and metronome. I'm using metronome just because of how spammy I'll be. I just pretty much spamming earthquake, right? Of course, there are times where they're electric, but they're also strong as ground. In that case, you just pick a Pokemon that you can think is just neutral or just resist it. Um, so like the grass or something, you can just use like fire <laughs> in that case, and if you're the electric Terra. Um, so that that's one thing to take a note of. Um, for water, I have some very notable ones, especially Azumarill, right? Azumarill is very good against, like, Pokemon that are weak to fairy or water as well. You can use it as Belly Drum, which is the same thing as, like, Hariyama. Of course, Azumarill Amer Az isn't as bulky. And I run Shell Bell just because it isn't as bulky as the other ones, and you do use Belly Drum, you use half your HP. And I'm running Rain Dance in case I'm finding Pokemon that like does Solar Sunny Day and stuff like that. So you can just use that. Like if you look at the Charizard raid, there are better options than Azumarill, but you can still use Azumarill, right? Uh, like you can use Azumarill for um, that Whale Pokemon because it resists all your moves, and as long as you don't Terrasilize the Fairy, then you're good. Because <laughs> that Whale has Order Up, which is a Dragon move, and your your Fairy is resistant. It has steel, water resistant, but you're weak in fairy, so it's neutral. And it has aqua tail where you just completely resist, right? So that that is to take a note of. Um and then I have Gyarados as the flying water one. Just as another if I want to be immune to like ground or something. Something just that's just just something to take a note of. But I don't use Gyarados as much, okay? But it's here, it's here. Next, we have the, the steel types that I like to use, okay? Um, Tinkaton and Go, Godango. I do use King Gambit sometimes, but it's not as good as these two. So, Fairy Steel is actually good typing, a lot of resistances. So, um, a lot of time, I just use Tinkaton with Life Orb. I just go, this one, I like, this is like the sprint. If I need to like sprint, I do that. Same thing with Godango. I don't use Godango as much. Because most of the time, I just like using Tinkaton more because of the Gingaton Hammer with Berserker. Um, this one more of like a Steel Beam, but you hit yourself. But it's still pretty good. I would say it's still pretty good. Okay. You can like solo a lot of things with this. But yeah, these are like the two options that I kind of use. I use Light Orb. Um, this is Metal Coat just for extra Steel Damage. You pretty much just need Nasty Plot and Steel Beam for this. And it has Good as Gold. Good as Gold, you just become immune to statuses. This one's just fun because it has the fairy typing as well. So if it has a dragon move, but it's also like a fairy Terra, then this is very, this is much better, right? So you kind of have to decide depending on the Mon. It's also Fluttermane as a fairy Pokemon that I want to just throw in there. This can solo a lot of things because it has Draining Kiss for self-sustain, Fake Tears to lower their defenses, Calm Mind to increase your defense and attack, and then Moonblast has a chance to lower their special attack. 
So this is very useful in Charizard. If you notice in the videos uh, that I posted here, you can just fake tears and then have Sylveon just pixel light hyper beam and it'll just like almost pretty much one shot to Charizard, right? And it's tanky enough, right? Special defense, 307. Not that bulky on the defense wise, so just be worried of that. And most of the time, if you want to use ghosts, and just be careful that you don't fight the ghosts and stuff. Okay. So that's what I just want to throw in there. Um, and then for dark, I, these are like notable mentions. For dark, I have these two. A lot of times, a lot of times they're actually. How you say it? When they're weak to dark, they, so far what I've been fighting is that when they're weak to dark, they're also strong against dragon or something. It's just bad RNG, but that's one of the things. Um, obviously, King Gambit is also nice, but it's not as strong, I would say, um, in terms of the moves itself. Maybe my moves could have been better, but a lot of the times for all the rain mods, you want kind of a boost because you just want to like boost or set up for first few turns and then knock it out so you don't have to deal with shields as much. That's always a strat, okay? So to be careful of that. I mean, just be wary of that. And that's that's a very good strat to use. Um, and then I have Halucha, right? Halucha is technically my only flying one. I would say it's pretty good with flying. So I have Citrus Berry, so I just Swords Dance, and it'll knock me down. And once after I lose that Citrus Berry uh, from sword setting up, I would just Acrobatics hit over and over. And I can Roost and heal myself, right? So... That's the thing there. And I also want to mention Berserker is a very good support at Steel, especially with other Steel types. So uh, Taunt, Screech, Iron Hand, Iron Head is pretty much you need. Helping Hand to help with other ones. So um, as long as you're not fighting a Pokemon, let's say like it's Fire or Ground or whatever, you're not weak. You can just bring Berserker too. Berserker is nice just to help out. Um, I don't use Iron Thorn as much, but is there is kind of an option if you need Rock type. But those are the these are the mostly the ones I use. Um, let me know if you guys want me to go more over it. But you can kind of see the move sets here that I use. A lot of, a lot of the moves here I only use like three out of the four. I don't even need the last one. <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Yeah, I'll probably get into VGC sometime. I am building a team. I'm probably redoing my team too. So yeah, check out my Twitch stream. Twitch.tv slash Vincente. I've been streaming Pokemon on there. Later days.